Hey guys, um, welcome to another episode of Vault of the Dungeon Master, um, and I hope you all enjoyed the my new intro um, that's, that was in the beginning of this video. Uh, my, my friend Chris Wood and I really worked hard on it. Uh, he gave me that nice music you hear in the background. Um, I think it'll work out really nicely. Uh, intro has been something I've been wanting to do for this channel for a long time, and I finally got around doing it. Um, anyway, uh, general gaming update news, uh, my games have been going well, um, my group's been, uh, cruising along the Temple of Elemental Evil, and, uh, they're getting good at their, uh, they're getting better, uh, they're getting along, uh, in my Saturday game that my dad runs, um, we had just, we have just started A2, Sleek Secrets of the Slaver Stockade, uh, which is really fun. It took us three years to get to this point, and uh, we're really gelling with it. Uh, anyway, uh, on to the topic of this video. Um, I've been given a lot of thought recently about how I come up with plots and stories for campaigns. And um, I've kind of really been hitting kind of brick walls with coming up with stories. And I'm kind of, this video is kind of, kind of get input for how you guys create stories and craft stories. Uh, and kind of, I'll start off with, I was talking to a friend today about this, and um, she, su she suggested something called the snowflake method, uh, that she calls the snowflake method that she uses for stories. And uh, it's kind of, you have three kind of climaxes in, in a story. So like maybe going like, uh, kind of like a three-act structure kind of thing. Like, uh, and then within those sections, you have smaller little, like, kind of how to, like, the rising action, like, how to get the thing. So, like, if part one is, or, like, if one of them is to slay a dragon, maybe, then it's, uh, first discover an item or something. But, yeah, um, I really want to hear your thoughts on this method. I would like maybe, uh, maybe a video response or comments about making a plot like that. Uh, just kind of want to hear your, your ideas, how you guys come up with plots. I mean, I've... Over the years, I've kind of just hamstrung things together uh, out of necessity. Just, oh, this looks fun. And I'm just kind of looking for new methods. New methods on crafting stories and making great games. Because I've also fallen into a rut of wanting to run kind of a simulation kind of game. You know, where you have kind of starvation and such. Or like, you know, you have to worry about rations and stuff. Kind of hinted that in my last game, and I just try to make that weed that stuff into the story and kind of making it fun. So you know, if you have like a, if the players run into NPCs that are starving in a town or whatever, maybe then they still you know try to weed it so that maybe they start caring about their food. Excuse me. But yeah, I would like to hear your thoughts on this subject and. uh also, uh, in the comments, let me know what you think about the new intro. I think it's here to stay. And, um, as always, I'm John. It's been another episode of Ultra Dungeon Master, and happy gaming!